Rachel's gonna pass out when she sees this. Oh my God, tofu never fails. Are we professional pizza chefs? No. Hey, what's up everybody? It's your girl, Merle. And I'm Rachel. Damn right you are. And today we are eight, eight feet, feet apart. apart. Buzzfeed is taking COVID precautions, so we are social distancing today, and you should too until everyone can get vaccinated. Today we're gonna be making two vegan pizzas at two different price points. So one of us is gonna have a $5 budget and the other one's gonna have a $35 budget. But in order to make this fair, we're gonna flip a coin to see who gets which budget. How about heads will be expensive and tails will be cheap. Expensive? Expensive oh my god, okay, well, that means I'm doing oh, the cheap one. Boy. So today Aria cannot be joining us, so our good friend Jasmine is gonna be here instead to taste test and decide which pizza has the best value. All right, so Merle's gonna start first, so let's go. So I'm gonna be trying to make a $5 pepperoni pizza. Even though we only have $5, I'm gonna to try to infuse as much flavor in there as I possibly can. The base ingredients of this are flour and water, so pretty cheap. So I'm just gonna add in my water, flour, instant yeast or active dry yeast, and one teaspoon of salt. Then I'm just gonna mix this together until it is smooth. Be gentle with the little yeastlings. That's not what they're called, but they are alive. Now I'm just going to cover it up and let it rest for five minutes. Let's turn her out. Here I come. I'm gonna knead this dough for about two to three minutes until it is nice and smooth. If you are like, I've never made pizza dough before, don't feel daunted. It's totally doable and it's not that scary, trust me. It is about good to go. I'm going to lightly spray my bowl. In you go, we won. I'm just gonna cover this up again and we are going to let it rest for an hour and a half in a warm place. So now we're gonna make our pepperoni. I always love pepperoni pizza, that was my go-to. I'm not proud of this, but I used to eat three pepperoni pizzas a day when I was in college. Little ones, personal ones, but still. I'm going to be adding some extra firm tofu that I pressed for a little bit and we're gonna add a lot of seasoning. I've got brown sugar here, soy sauce, paprika, smoked paprika, fennel seeds, garlic powder, red pepper flakes, and a half a teaspoon of salt. Now I'm just going to blend all of this together until it is smooth and evenly combined. Let's have a little taste -a Whoa! Oh my God, that is the essence of pepperoni. That's like the cologne of pepperoni. We're gonna spray down our baking sheet. I'm gonna just smooth this out a little bit so it's kind of even. Now I've got my sprayed parchment paper. We're gonna press it down so that our pepperoni slab is pretty evenly one eighth of an inch all the way around. Now I'm gonna peel the parchment paper off. How satisfying is that? We're gonna bake this at 425 degrees Fahrenheit. That's 220 degrees Celsius. And we're gonna let it bake for about eight to 10 minutes until the corners get golden brown and a little crispy. So now that it's out of the oven, we're going to go ahead and make our little pepperoni babies. And what I'm using is an old kombucha cap, the cheap squad. I'm gonna press right in there. Ooh, that feels good. Hello, meal. Oh my. What are you doing over there? It smells like pepperoni in here. No, oh, you don't say. Where did you scrounge up that old bottle cap in my <laughs> cabinet? Listen, I never go anywhere without checking to see if there are extra bottle caps. <laughs> Try not to let this uh, mess with your head. I'm gonna have a lot of money, so I don't need to carve out my own pepperonis. <laughs> Listen, it's character building, Rachel. Now that we've got our little cutouts here, I'm gonna flip those over with a butter knife. Wow, these are like legit. Tofu never fails, guys. Veganism 101. Ooh, that's very satisfying. Wow, I feel like it's about to singe my nose hairs. That is really good. All right, I've got these all flipped over. Now we're just gonna put these back in the oven for five more minutes. Now it's time for us to make our vegan cheese. And I bet you've never heard of one made like this. We're gonna be using potatoes. Cheap. She's a very cheapy girl. The kind you don't bring home to mother. That was just for me. We're gonna boil our potatoes for about eight minutes until they are fork tender. 
We are going to set our pan aside to cool for 10 minutes. Let's put our cooked potatoes along with the potato water into this adorable little food processor. Now we're gonna add in our seasoning, flour, cornstarch, apple cider vinegar, nutritional yeast, and a half a teaspoon of salt. Now we're gonna blend her all together. Oh, smells wild. She might smell funky, but she's gonna do the trick. You just wait and see. I'm gonna add this back to my pot over a medium low heat to allow it to thicken up a little bit more. And if yours is too thick, you can just add a little water to it until you get it to the right consistency. So I'm gonna take this off the heat. And now it's time to roll out our dough. I'm gonna lightly dust some flour and let's roll her out. Come to mama. I'm gonna just use my hands and like stretch it out just a little bit and then I'm gonna roll her out. All right, it's looking good. Lay it out into our baking sheet and we're just gonna go ahead and just pour some good old tomato sauce on there. This huge canvas for $5? Are you kidding me right now? Rachel's gonna pass out when she sees this. She's gonna drop dead right on the floor. I didn't mean to say that with a smile. I love Rachel. Now we're gonna take our cheese mixture, and I know what you're thinking. It's mashed potatoes. But no, it's not, because it's all about perception, guys. So I'm gonna dollop here, dollop there, so that it can spread the love across our canvas. Remember the pepperoni? We're gonna add our little tofu nugget pepperonis on to the pizza, and you see how the canvas is filling up. Lastly, I'm gonna take my cooking spray, and I'm going to spray it quickly over the top. Now we're gonna bake this at 500 degrees Fahrenheit, that's 260 degrees Celsius, and we're gonna let that bake for eight minutes, and then we're gonna broil it for two to three minutes at the end there until it gets nice and brown. Finally, we are making our basil drizzle. What we are lacking in budget, we are making up for in gumption. So we are going to add some basil. Fun little hack to save money is to supplement with a little bit of spinach. You get some nutritional value and you can bulk it out a little bit because basil can get expensive. You have some garlic, olive oil. I'm gonna add just a wee bit of oh, nutritional yeast in place of Parmesan. Now we just wanna drizzle it over our pizza. It's really coming together now. Our pizza's looking fabulous. And now it's Rachel's turn to give it a whirl with her big old budget. So I have a massive budget, so I figured I might as well make a deep dish pizza because I can just fit more things into it. First thing we're gonna do is make our dough. I'm gonna add some water to a bowl. Make sure it's room temperature or a little bit warm. Gonna add in a little bit of sugar, a whole packet of instant yeast, and then some coconut oil, which is just gonna give it this really nice flaky crust. It's a little expensive, but we're splurging today. Now I'm gonna add in my flour, a little bit of cornmeal, and some salt. I just wanna mix it until there aren't any dry spots left. And now I'm just gonna cover it with my dish towel and let this sit for about five minutes. So now I'm just going to turn it out. So I just wanna knead it for a couple of minutes. So now we're just gonna take our bowl and give it a little spray with some oil. I'm gonna pop this back in here and let this rest for about one hour so it can rise. If your apartment is too cold, take a blanket and you can actually wrap up your little dough baby because if your apartment is too cold, your dough is gonna take much longer to rise. Make sure it's nice and toasty in there. So while my dough is resting, I'm going to make some tomato sauce. First, I'm just gonna add a little bit of olive oil in here, about one tablespoon of tomato paste, garlic, some salt, and then some Italian seasoning. Stir this up some more. I'm using San Marzano tomatoes. They're a little bit pricier, but they're definitely worth it for the flavor they have. Oh, this smells good. And I'm gonna let this cook for about 30 minutes to an hour. We don't want our sauce to be too watery in our deep dish pizza because then it can get too wet and soggy. The longer you cook it, the better it's gonna taste. So now I'm gonna get started on what's going into this deep dish pizza. I decided to just get the most expensive ingredients I could possibly think of. Some Beyond Meat sausages, which are so good. And I really think that these kinds of vegan alternatives 
are going to come down in price over the next several years because they're so much less resource intensive than animal products. And then I'm just gonna add my bell peppers. It's kind of crazy to me that you can go to the drive-thru and get a $1 hamburger, but a single bell pepper costs more money than that. That is a very flawed system in my opinion. I'm also gonna season our peppers with a little bit of salt. She nice and toasty. You can see all the oil that is coming off. So I'm just gonna use it to mix with our peppers here. And now I'm going to cut up our little sausages. Ooh, and they're like nice and juicy on the inside. And now let's just see if our little dough baby has grown in his slumber. Ooh, it looks good. So now I'm going to plop him out of here. This isn't even like too hard of a rolling job because this thing is already pretty enormous. If you're really bad at rolling out pizza, this might be the recipe for you. Now I'm just gonna transfer it onto the pan. If it's not totally even on all sides, it's okay. Are we professional pizza chefs? No. So we're gonna start off with some of my favorite vegan mozzarella cheese, Vial Life. And I'm just going to really just go crazy with it because we gotta spend these dollars somehow. If you think it's enough cheese, it's not. It's not enough. Now I'm going to layer on our bell peppers, spread these out a little, and now our sausages. This is gonna be bomb. All right, so I'm gonna hit it with the sauce. It's nice and thick, just how we like it. Now we're gonna add about half of a bunch of curly kale, and this is gonna bake down. And I'm gonna give this kale a nice healthy drizzle of this fancy roasted garlic olive oil. We're living large, we might as well go all out. Now I'm gonna add on my vegan mozzarella, Miyoko's brand made out of cashews, because one layer of cheese is not enough for this pizza, and support an amazing Asian American owned business. One type of cheese in two different forms isn't enough. We're going to go in with the vegan Parmesan. We're gonna bake this at 450 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 232 degrees Celsius, I think. And we're gonna bake it for about 26 to 28 minutes. Oh my God, this pizza looks so good. I'm very happy with how this came out. It smells amazing, it looks amazing. The cheese melted to the best of cashew cheese's melting ability. And I am so excited for Jasmine to try this. Okay, Jasmine, it is the moment of truth. Don't mind us, we'll just be here in the background. Not bitter about which one you choose or don't choose. We made for you a deep dish pizza, which is on the left. And on the right is a pepperoni vegan pizza with some basil drizzle on top. Okay, I'm very honest, you know this. We love that about you. All right. Mmm. Mmm. This is really good. Cannot make reaction. <laughs> oh, right, sorry. The pepperonis taste like um, bean curd. It's mm. very insightful. It's really good. I really like the crust. I think the pesto adds a great touch as well. The cheese. Hmm. Honestly, it tastes like cheese. Wow, really? There's nothing that I would change about this pizza. Okay. Let's try this one that I guess I need a fork for. Mmm. This is so good. Could never tell that would be vegan. Jesus, there's nothing I would change about that pizza either. Like these are really good. So the pizza on the right is $5 for the entire pizza. And then the one on your left cost $35 for the entire pizza. So now knowing both price points, which one would you say has the best value overall? Obviously very different. Hard to compare a deep dish versus like a thin sliced pizza, but I would pick this one. Yeah. This tastes like real cheese and the pepperonis taste amazing. For $5 for the whole pizza, this is amazing. Good job. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Honestly, I wouldn't change anything about this pizza either. I would go for this for a fancy night, but day to day, I think I would go for this one. Well, Jasmine, I accept <laughs> my loss graciously. Merle finally won a Rich vs. Broke. Oh, 